Vengeance 29V, beautiful toy hauler here at Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Comes in about 7,500 pounds. Um, it is a true toy hauler. It is wide body. It is taller. It does have a nice deep uh, u dinette slide out. All that can kind of creep the weight up there. So, folks with half ton pickups, I kind of squirm when you say, I got a half ton and I want to throw a motorcycle in this and head down the road. If you're going to be local towing, fine. If you want to go cross country touring, mm, I wish you'd had a bigger truck. You know, that's it, you're right on that borderline, and I squirm when I say that. Um, Vengeance is Forest River's most uh, searched toy hauler on the internet. More people are looking for these than anything else. The questions why? What is it about this? Um, relatively young brand of toy hauler here that's catching on strong. Um, relatively, like I said, is I, as the, I, I, you know, the name kind of implies relative. Uh, you know, Forest River is not new to toy haulers by any stretch, but the Vengeance uh, series is a little bit newer in their lineup. But they took, you know, kind of the things that their their brothers and cousins at Forest River had done. They found out what was important, what wasn't. They used all that to kind of really build something that is all thriller and no filler. Um, like, for instance, we have a huge power awning on this thing. Look at this. It clears both doors, has LED lighting under it. It has easy adjust arms, so you can easily pitch adjust it. literally only takes two fingers to pull down on it. And you can have like a, a 10 or 12 inch pitch on the awning for rain runoff. We've also got cool things like the uh, this, uh, friction latch door here, the friction hinge door, as it were. So the door doesn't slam against the side of the trailer when it's gusty out there. You can see I can literally heave that thing and it barely closes. Um... She's solar prepped so that you can keep your batteries topped off when you uh, are out and about. Um, as a toy hauler, they give you this extended tongue up here. And what they do is it has room for two batteries for double the dry camp time if you're going off the beaten path. Also, just a big utility tray. Use it for cargo. Use it for generator. Use it for whatever you want. Kind of like we have a power awning, we also have a power tongue jack here. Uh, you know, so again, the whole point of this is just easy. It's supposed to be easy. Now, they, uh, they borrowed from the, the fifth wheel toy hauler mindset to put... It, the largest, tallest slide out they possibly could in this thing. It goes floor to ceiling. That gives us opportunity for big, big windows, and that is a good thing. Their slide walls also have a nice texture to them. They're a seal grip wall. It pulls that slide in there as taut as possible to make sure that when you're traveling down the road, when you are, um, you know, putting her away for storage, when you're pulling the slide out for use, it is, uh, you know, a, as cleanly sealed as possible to give you uh, the, the best seals and the lowest chance for any sort of water penetration or failure. Uh, a lot of people don't realize one of the, the things that will cause the slide to leak is if that wiper seal, it kind of folds out. It doesn't just sort of flap in or out, but it sort of rolls its way out. And uh, if that seal doesn't get all the way in or out, you're going to have a leak. Now, they use an extra thick aluminum on the nose here. It's a .06 thickness. It's like the same type of thickness as like a, uh, a horse trailer wall, which we're familiar with because we sell horse trailers here too. Um, so, you know, if uh, that's the type of stuff they have where they say, oh, you know, a horse might kick this. Well, there you go. Now, this specific RV in this video, we have added a flat screen TV to. However, that is an option. So, uh, you may see things in this video that are not going to be found on every 29V. Um, but uh, I'll try to point those out as we go. But keep in mind, this is kind of a generic stock footage video. So if the one we have in stock's a little different, this video is not the be-all, end-all of this trailer. It means that there's others maybe like it. Outside TV station here, uh, if you do have a uh, TV that you add to it, one TV can move between the bedroom, living room, garage, and outside. It has four different entertainment zones, all with that quick-release clip there. We do have a good uh, marine-grade Sony system right here. Very good sound out of these. Who doesn't like aluminum wheels? And those are nitro-filled, so they're not going to rot from the inside out. That's becoming a more popular thing. Uh, a lot nice now that there's more nitro-fill stations around our beautiful country. We have upgraded her to feature the full-on patio party deck. Um, you know, why bother with trying to park your RV next to a big wooden deck when the deck can come with you and it goes anywhere you want, anytime you want. It's there when you need it, gone when you don't. You know, it's just easier. There is a nice little docking station over here, by the way, so you can kind of keep all your hoses and everything in one spot. Um, you can keep about a thousand pounds up here, uh, you know, and that's that's enough for like four people and picnic tables and stuff like that to be comfortable. They slightly underrate stuff like that just to make sure you don't go crazy and overload it. 
We typically add these roll down screen walls here. Um, you see it's a two section piece so you can kind of, you know, you can sneak through the middle if you want. You can roll up this rear flap and have just breeze through. It can all Velcro down in place so that it doesn't whip around. So you can turn your garage into a three seasons room effectively. Let me slide inside here real quick. And I apologize for my raspy voice. We've had 36 units come in in two days and I've done a lot of these tours and my voice, it's starting to betray me here. So we've added the power bed and sofas lift. Uh, both the bed and the sofas are in the lift. Um, I don't think it's better or, or worse or indifferent than when the sofas are just attached to a wall and only have the lift. This just gives you the option because these sofas, when they, they can either fold up horizontally in the lift or they can actually fold flat against the wall. If you check out our picture tour, you'll see what I mean. So you can have either the widest potential loading space because this is a 102 wide body toy hauler or you can have the tallest loading space. So it depends on what you're loading. This, this toy hauler can do whatever you want. Now we do have all LED lighting through the entire thing. We do have central air. We do have central heat. Um, even uh, you even have a heat duct directly back here to the garage. So, um, you know, this is good pretty much any time you're, you're above freezing, you're going to be fine. Even if it dips below freezing at night, you're going to be okay as long as it warms back up the next day. Um, D-rings here, you'll find nine of them in the garage. They are screwed directly into a tongue and groove plywood floor deck. This says rated at 2,500. They've pull tested them to 3,300. And it was the ring that failed, not the floor. The floor had zero damage. Part of the reason is the way that they, they don't just screw it to the floor. It is also glued down with an adhesive that is insanely amazing called Cicaflex. Cicaflex is the stuff that's holding your windshield in your car right now. It's good. It's very good stuff. Um, again, you do have a uh, TV station here in the uh, uh, garage area as well. So this could be a second living room. This could be a three seasons room, a patio, a screen room, a bunkhouse, uh, a man cave. It could be whatever you want. Maybe a woman cave. Pardon me. I don't want to get too politically incorrect here. Although I am never going to run for office, so that's really not too big of a deal. Uh, I like that this has a, uh, a full pass-through middle bathroom here. And we've got some very sweet things going on. Uh, they they uh, brought this straight over from the you know their cousins at Cherokee. Uh, the full giant sink. You can actually get your hands in here and wash. Also, one of the largest medicine cabinets in their class. It doesn't seem like a real fancy thing I should really spend time talking about. But you're going to use that every single day you go camping. You need a big medicine cabinet. It keeps your sink and, and countertops open. We also have a giant corner shower here, and because this is a tall ceiling toy hauler, you are never ever going to hit your head in here. It's just not an issue. Um, if I flip around, you'll see that we do have a nice foot flush stool. There is lots of leg room here, so that's never an issue. And you have great linen space in this bathroom. That's a big hot button item for me, you know? It, I don't want to walk through the living room because I forgot my towel. And I, I'm the kind of dork that does that stuff because I forget things. So at the time of this filming, one of the upgrade bundles we have going on here is giving us a real wood table. It's not a press board table. It's actual real wood. I mean, you, you can see it. That's wood. That's not a print. Um, because of that, it is stronger and lighter. But you get what you pay for. This is, again, something you're going to use every day. So they invest smart money here. They don't invest money in something just for the sake of doing it. This is not designed to be, uh, like, uh, you know, crazy flashy. This is designed to be crazy functional. Uh, but you do see nicer things like, you know, we have nice hardwood fascia. That's the wedding ring test. You can try that there. Uh, they put little accent lights above the uh, uh, big pantry here. Um, just to help break it up a little bit. I'm going to kick the lights on in here. Bear with me just a moment. If I can remember which switch it is. There it is. Uh, there's inside, outside lights, all kinds of different accents. It always takes me a minute. I talked about the big windows and the slide out, but when you're inside, you can actually get a good feel for it. Lots of scenic views going on here. And we have, uh, there we go, nice uh, plantation wooden blinds. You can actually clean the blinds in this thing. Dinette will fold down into an extra sleeper that can fit an adult because it's about seven foot long when it's all down. So you have garage uh, upper bunk. You have the two sofas to fold into a, a, a lower like king bunk as well. So you can fit four back there. You have one here too. That you can fit nine in here if you need to, guys. And that's before you throw an air bed on the floor. One of the upgrade bundles adds these giant mega 40 inch drawers here. And again, all 5 8 uh, plywood. That's what your floor decking is. 5 8 tongue and groove plywood. It's serious. Um, 
I talked about the central air, LED lighting. I'm just making a quick checklist as I cruise through here. I don't want to miss anything. Let's look at our kitchen real quick. We have some huge cabinet spaces. Now, these are tall cabinets. Yes, you might need a one or two step stool. I would rather have cabinets that I need a stool over no cabinets 10 times out of 10 every single day of the week. Uh, even more LED lighting uh, above the kitchen right there. Um, oh, this is a convection microwave. Um, I really love what they did here. They mount the microwave really low where you would expect the oven to be because you're not generally using the oven in a toy hauler. And if you are, I'm sorry, you are the exception to that rule. You truly are. Um, the uh, thing that always made me laugh is when they mount a microwave way up here. Well, you've got a hot bowl of something. I don't want to like jostle it and spill it on myself. I don't want my kid doing that. Down here, it's safer. It's smarter. It's easier to get to. It makes more sense. Couple drawers so you have places for your silverware and your flashlights. They do recess the stovetop so that glass covers both a backsplash as well as extra counter space. Um, we have a pull out uh, sprayer type faucet right here, and that's uh, making it more easy to uh, uh, clean big stuff. Before I forget, up here, this is where your TV will mount in the living room. And you do have this is a great little charge station. You see, you've got USB and 12 volt plugs, so you can just have the perfect spot to keep your phone charging. And your phone can Bluetooth to the stereo that's hidden behind this door over here. It's got the crazy demo mode lighting going on that'll give you a seizure if you're not paying attention. Also, this is very cool. We have the Vengeance King bed in here. This is uh, uh, 80 inch wide. It's 74 by 80. It's a way bigger bed than you normally find in here. Good for tall people. Um, you know, it's so much wider. You can you can sleep on it crooked if you need to if you're seven foot tall. And they leave you this bedside stand up here with an outlet, another outlet over there, so you always got something to keep like devices charged and whatnot. Um, you know, hanging storage. Uh, uh, the other area for the TV up here in the bedroom. You like I said, you can have a, a quad zone entertainment system going on at any given point. So, that's this one in a nutshell. Give us a call, learn a little bit more. 800-256-5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping everyone.